Welcome to this very special evening hosted by Fiji's COP23 Presidency. These are the Talanoa Talks, direct from the Royal Institution in London, and a warm welcome to our audience here, but also our audience who are watching the live stream. We won't forget about you. You're very, very important to us. And it's great to see so many young people here. I know that makes me sound really old, but it is really, really great. My heart does a little dance. Um, now, buildings carry stories too. Tonight's all about stories. And this one, well, it's hard to know where to begin with this one, really. This is where the science community has grappled with some of humanity's biggest challenges, presented evidence and opportunities and solutions. It's where Faraday demonstrated electricity for the first time. So it seems entirely apt that the Talanoa talks have arrived here tonight on the eve, or very nearly the eve, of COP24. So here's a recap. I've been asked to give you a little bit of context. Beginning next Monday, political leadership from all over the world gathers in Poland for COP24. This latest round of talks will set the future direction of travel for the world and therefore our collective future. The International Panel on Climate Change, the IPCC, is the leading scientific body that assesses climate change and re recently issued a special report. It showed that time is running out for the world to achieve the vision set by the Paris Agreement. What is that vision? Well, we know it's to keep global warming below 1.5 degrees Celsius above the pre-industrial age. Beyond that, of course, the effects of climate change will significantly worsen. The scientists of the IPCC concluded that this target is still possible, but the window of opportunity is closing fast. So to say this is a critical moment is a bit of an understatement. We are poised, ready to take massive and radical change to human systems, precisely because we are directed by the science. To achieve that, we have this framework, the, the architecture, if you like, and it's pretty clever stuff. Just to recap again, December Paris 2015, COP21, and a landmark agreement to combat climate change and to accelerate and intensify the actions and investments needed for a sustainable, low-carbon future was reached. We call it the Paris Agreement, as we know, and for the first time, it brought all nations together in a common cause. I always say this, the Paris Agreement is an amazing bit of architecture, but we need to use it. Make no mistake, the current commitments on the table are not good enough. They leave us on course for three degrees of warming by the end of the century. Now, 1.5 to 3 degrees doesn't sound like much, but these figures are the difference between success and failure, survival and catastrophe. And of course, not just for Homo sapiens, for every living thing on this planet. It has become clear that there are those who want us to lower our ambitions and higher that number. And we know that means compromising our futures, so we're not going to do it. So how do we maintain and amplify our climate ambition and keep our ambition intact? Well, Fiji has an answer. In November last year, it became the first small island state to preside over the UN climate negotiations, assuming the presidency of COP23. And for the last year, led by Prime Minister Frank Bainimarama of Fiji, Fiji has overseen the Talanoa Dialogue, a global conversation and a process of listening to other people's stories. The Talanoa Dialogues acknowledge, as Frank Bainimarama has put it, that we are all in the same canoe. They also recognize that as humans, we trade and we swap stories, not numbers of atmospheric concentrations of greenhouse gas although they do inform our stories. Talanoa is a chance to pool our collective experiences and knowledge to find solutions. Whether it be poetry or a podium-thumping polemical, other humans have fed their experiences and responses into the Talanoa dialogue from across the planet. And tonight, we feed into Talanoa right here at the Royal Institution on the eve of COP24. Tonight, you will hear climate ambition articulated in many different ways by a, a number of great human beings. I invite you to listen, to absorb, and let this process recharge your own wells of energy and commitment, which are possibly a little depleted at this point. Don't worry. Get yourself ready to participate and commit 
like you never have before. This is what we call an opportunity.